friendships, relationships, and yoga. So, have you ever felt that change is insurmountable? You're like, change is this huge mountain. I gotta climb up this thing. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be effortful. It's gonna just like take it all out of me. God, it's so hard to change. Well, I have very good news for you because actually change is easy. What's hard is our resistance to change. So check this out. So for example, in my life, I've been involved in this like habitual pattern for years and years and years and years and years and years. I'm like, oh my God, this thing is so hard to change. So for me, it was a relationship pattern. You know, for you, it might be feeling stuck in the same job. It might be, uh, you know, like that you keep on having these kind of same negative thoughts in your head. Whatever the thing is, right, we have this kind of thing that we get into and we feel stuck and we feel like we can't move it. Losing the last five pounds, changing your diet. There are so many examples, right? But here's the thing. Change actually wants to happen. The universe is constantly in a state of moving and changing and flowing. But what we do in our mind is we get stuck on staying in the same place. So imagine this, you're on the river of life. You're flowing down the river of life, but all of a sudden, instead of going to the next bend in the river, you're like, oh my God, I'm scared. And you grab onto this dead tree trunk and you hold onto it for dear life. And you're like, I'm not, res I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna end my marriage, end the relationship, end the job. I can't, I can't. And so our mind is actually what's getting us stuck. And so one of my girlfriends calls it, she's like, I st she straps herself in. You like harness yourself to this place. And the rapids, meanwhile, are trying to carry you down the river to the next thing. And the reason that you know that you want to change is because you have that little voice inside of you that's saying, go here, let go, get moving, release, right? It's telling you, and it's gonna scream in your head like a deranged ghost, to use a Cheryl Strayed phrase. It'll scream in your head like a deranged ghost until you actually take the step of letting go because you want to change. And it's only the mind's fear that's holding you stuck in place. It's an idea. And what's so crazy is that as soon as you let go, as soon as you dissolve your resistance to the change, it's easier. We actually discover on the other side of letting go that it wasn't that scary. We discover on the other side of letting go that ending our job actually opened up new possibilities, that the world didn't end, the bottom didn't fall out, that all of those projections were just the fear of the mind which gets stuck holding us and keeping us from flowing downstream. So this is one of the reasons that your practice, your yoga practice or our mindfulness practice is so important because when you come back to your yoga practice on the mat or when you sit down even for just a minute perhaps to take deep breaths, what we start to do is dissolve those voices that are strapping us in to dissolve our obligations so that we can more clearly hear the voice of our soul, which is saying, I know how to take you down this river. So here's the invitation. If there's something in your life that you've been wanting to shift, but have been afraid to, I want you to ask yourself, what's really in the way? Is the change really that hard? Or is it my resistance to change that's really getting in the way and that's what I need to work on? And then you might discover that letting go and allowing change is actually one of the easiest things you could do. That's that for now. See you on the map.